हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अमित कटोच एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड बी टेकिंग द मॉड्यूल ऑन एयरलाइंस कार्गो हैंडलिंग स्टाफ प्रोफाइल्स एंड रोल्स अंडर द पेपर कार्गो ऑपरेशंस एंड मैनेजमेंट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एयरलाइन कार्गो हैंडलिंग नो अबाउट डिफरेंट रीजन्स ऑफ कार्गो हैंडलिंग इन द एयरपोर्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड द रोल्स ऑफ द स्टाफ इन डिफरेंट कार्गो हैंडलिंग रीजन्स फर्स्टली आई वुड स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द जॉब्स ऑफ द मैन एंड वुमेन ऑफ द ए लाइन्स आर हाईली डाइवर्सिफाइड दे रिक्वायर वेरिड स्किल्स एंड द स्किल्स मस्ट वर्क टूगेदर द मैशिंग ऑफ द स्किल्स इज एसेंशियल इन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ एवरी सिंगल फ्लाइट लेट अलोन इन द टोटल ऑपरेशन ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ फ्लाइट्स which the airlines fly on an average day the mechanics inspectors and ground service people must provide complete airworthy and professional services for air passengers and cargo weather experts communication people and flights dispatchers must plan the flight and provide all the necessary information about conditions likely to be encountered along the route the flight crew headed by the captain must operate the aircraft while flight attendants should see the safety requirements and cabin service needs of the passengers many of the skills of the men and women of the airlines are put to work long before flight time in some cases even before the potential passenger or shipper has decided to use the air transportation sales forces of each airline make known the special passenger and cargo services that an airline can offer highly trained reservationists help people plan their trips agents issue tickets handle baggage and then check both at the flight time ground operations people handle the loading of the aircraft and fueling operations keeping precise records to make certain that the load is properly distributed in the aircraft other people develop new schedules or carry out the long range research and planning needed to improve and expand an airline's services and in each case a group of executives must administer and coordinate the employment of a company's expensive equipment and varied employee skills the airline cargo management is a very vital job in the airline department the cargo management team has myriad of jobs from checking in the baggage or registered cargo till the time it is loaded in the aircraft and the aircraft is released and from unloading the cargo till the time it is reached to its concerned destination different regions of the cargo handling procedure have different staff allotted for each and every different work now i would discuss jobs at the airports now i will discuss some of these jobs security staff also called ground transportation controllers access controllers or security guards control access through the gates and fences 
around the airfields making sure that only authorized people and vehicles enter they check id badges and inspect security fences for holes baggage and security screeners check people and luggage for items that are illegal to carry on to planes weapons and explosives are not by any means the only items screeners look for pen knives and even some kinds of knitting needles are also illegal screeners operate the screening equipment and search carry on baggage purses laptop computers briefcases and the like they may also search of check in baggage or cargo and do pat down searches of passengers in the past screeners worked for private security companies and the job had few qualifying requirements and commanded salaries barely above minimum wage gate agents gate agents work at counters near gates where passengers board and disembark they spend most of their time doing customer service assigning seats dealing with standby passengers answering passenger questions checking in passengers helping passengers whose flights are cancelled or delayed and putting passengers information into the computer they also make boarding announcements monitor the waiting area for security threats take tickets and check passengers ids before they board planes gate agents need a high school education or ged whether it is in usa and also the qualification goes same with the other countries customer service or ticket agents they sell a line tickets issue boarding passes check baggage and provide general flight and airport information usually at the front of the airport they also screen passengers for security threats asking passengers about the contents of their luggage and about people who have had access to their luggage at smaller airports the ticket agent often doubles as the gate agent agents need a high school education of ged excellent communication and key boarding skills and the ability to lift up to 70 pounds repetitively and surely these skills are required in all the countries for performing this job baggage agents they help passengers with delayed lost or damaged luggage they fill out claims forms process unclaimed baggage and use computers to track luggage because they spend a lot of time with disgruntled customers they need strong customer service skills and an enormous amount of patience the job usually requires a high school education or ged and some experience in customer service cargo handlers they load and unload baggage and other cargo from a plane using machines like forklifts and other freight and baggage carrying vehicles the job is physically strenuous and handlers work outside in an extremely noisy environment and in all kinds of weather candidates generally need a high school diploma or ged and the ability to lift heavy objects some cargo agents also need to be at least 20 years old and have a special license to drive large trucks and other vehicles air cargo agents they supervise the cargo terminal 
record air freight shipments and arrange for deliveries of air freight. They usually need a high school education, some experience in shipping and the ability to lift and move heavy cargo. Ramp service personnel or lines people or ramp planners. They direct planes in and out of the gates, de-ice them, fuel them and look after aircraft laboratory tanks. They also service the plane's interiors, vacuuming, checking that headsets work, replacing first aid kits, restocking magazines and newspapers as well as food and beverages. They also load, sort and keep records on cargo, bags and safety equipments like the steps that lead up to the aircraft. At large airports, many different service people do this work, each performing a particular task. At small airports, one person does much or even all of it. Operations agents, they keep track of a flight's number of passengers, pieces of luggage and amount of fuel. They also check that luggage and freight is stored correctly and that the weight of the fuel, customers and cargo is sufficiently balanced for safe takeoff and landing. Operation agents are often the main communication line among pilots, ground crews, flight schedulers and fuelers keeping them all informed about passengers and cargo. Operations agents need exceptional communication skills and must be able to make important decisions quickly, solving problems like overbooking and too much fright on a moment's notice. Other responsibilities include conducting safety and security inspections, posting weather advisories and making suggestions on airport operations and security procedures to managers. Operation agents usually need a high school degree, diploma or GED as well as experience working in aviation. Operations managers they work under the airport manager implementing decisions made by the manager but they have a good deal of independence and responsibility for how they implement those decisions. They supervise security, maintenance, noise control and contractual services including those that provide for aircraft rescue and fire fighting. They also select, train and evaluate operations, maintenance and security staff and make sure that airlines and other airport businesses comply with international and domestic regulations. The position usually requires a degree in business, public administration, airport management or a related field. Station Managers They oversee the overall operations of an airline at a single airport. They coordinate flight, cargo, baggage crew and ground crews. They make sure cargo is loaded correctly and that the plane is safe. At smaller airports, station managers may double as ticket agents. The educational requirements and amount of management experience required also vary with the size of the airport. Airport managers or directors. Airport managers are in charge of the airport as a whole including airport improvements, budgets, negotiating, labor contracts and grants. Airport managers must verify that all the airlines and businesses within the airport comply with the 
rules and regulations including all the international laws and the domestic regulations in smaller airports a manager may work alone while in larger airports management responsibilities are divided among many managers such as maintenance managers and ground transportation managers who report to the top airport manager the educational requirements for managers greatly vary for managers of small airports that service freight carriers or small private planes extensive experience as an aircraft mechanic is often more important than a degree managers of large airports need business and management skills and often a mba or a masters degree in public administration or aviation administration managers for larger airports also need accreditation from the international association of airport executives assistant airport managers they help airport managers with administrative responsibilities these assistants might be in charge of airport maintenance equipment or one of the other divisions in an airport as part of their job they might do general office work such as answering phones maintaining databases and typing in smaller airports assistants may need a high school education and some work experience at the airport while in larger airports they usually need a bachelor's degree in management and many years of experience their level of responsibility and their position in the hierarchy of management range from low to high depending on the individual airports management organization flight dispatchers they work with pilots to make flight plans that get planes to their arrival sites safely efficiently cost effectively and on time unlike air traffic controllers who are described in the later part dispatchers work in airline operations offices using computers weather charts maps reports and other information to draft flight plans taking into account weather winds fuel altitudes traffic flow and a variety of other factors in addition dispatchers authorize flight cancellation and advise pilots on air and weather or route changes and finally before the plane can depart both the pilot and the flight dispatcher must sign the airplane release form which confirms that the plane and flight plane are safe air traffic controllers they are not strictly speaking airport workers at all though most people think of them that way air traffic controllers are the people who work in control towers directing the flow of traffic in and out of the airport as well as during flight on a minute by minute basis their jobs are enormously stressful since the smallest mistake can result in the loss of hundreds of lives on the flight tons of people any major airport has lots of customers most of them passengers atlanta's hartsfield international airport for example handles 2400 flights every day one flight every 40 seconds 24 hours a day carrying hundreds of thousands of people that adds up to 72 million domestic and 78 million international passengers passing through hartsfield each year 
that's a lot of people and most of those 150 million are going to want to grab a bite use the restroom maybe buy a magazine and so a large number of people are involved to fulfill their needs to meet passengers needs an airport must be accessible by roadways and public transportation plus have plenty of parking the airport must have areas for ticketing check-in and baggage handling keep the passengers safe offer food and other services to the passengers maintain areas for the customs service also the airports have to take care of other stakeholders such as airlines need space for airplanes facilities for routine maintenance jet fuel and places for passengers and flight crews while on the ground air freight companies need space for loading and unloading cargo airplanes pilots and other crew members need runways aircraft fuel air traffic information facilities for aircraft storage and maintenance and places to relax while they are on the ground airports have facilities to meet all of these needs they have runways ground concourses terminals fuel depots hangars and a control tower to name a few now i would discuss about airport cargo handling procedure airline cargo or freight is the term referred to the goods which are transported by an aircraft or a ship basically for commercial purpose it may also be referred to as intermodal train truck or van the goods carried in the cargo may include baggage of the accompanying passengers tools and spare parts of the different machines and vehicles mail livestock excluding the fuel for the vehicles and related items the airport handling procedure that is ahp includes the following several functions reservation counter check in counter baggage makeup area that is bma boarding gate or security hold area that is sha region of aircraft movement and parking that is known as ramp arrival area cargo area for handling the cargo now i will discuss about the reservation counter the reservation counters are generally set up inside the airport or within the airport premises which deals with selling the tickets for the air travel to the passengers the roles of the staff in the reservation counters are booking the reservation of the passengers flying with the airlines cancellation of the tickets of the passengers rescheduling the journey dates and times of the passengers making a special service request that is ssr booking booking the details of the meal requests made by the passengers in the counter changing the sector of traveling addressing the inquiries of the passengers in the help desk also refunding of the tickets which depends on the purchase point check in counter the check in counter inside the airport is the foremost counter the passenger faces for the purpose of attaining the boarding pass the person sitting behind the counter is generally the employee hired by the airline to provide the boarding passes to the passengers with a valid ticket the passengers submit their luggage here 
which they do not wish to carry which they do not wish to carry after they reach their destination handbags or cabin baggage are allowed to be carried with the passengers to the aircraft the main function of the check in counter is to make the traveling for the passengers comfortable by taking their luggage which they would not need to carry and issue them their boarding passes which has the details of their flight number departure place and time arrival place and time gate number from which the passenger would proceed to board the flight and the seat number allotted to them the passenger who carries less luggage sorry the passenger who carries less luggage with them and wish to carry their luggage along with them to the cabin now have the facility of self check in there are self check in machines installed in the airports for different flights where passengers with only hand baggage need not stand in the queue with other passengers they can feed their pnr number in the machine and the machine generates the boarding pass for them major roles of the staff at check in counter are the staff needs to check for the security sticker and whether the baggage is properly closed and intact the staff has to make sure that the baggage is screened in the entry gate and it does not contain any dangerous goods or other goods which are listed in the prohibited goods list the staff is also required to address the request for ticket if the passenger have not purchased the ticket by checking the details of availability of the ticket in that particular time date and sector also checking the original photo identification card of the passenger traveling with the airlines the staff would also ask for the seat preference before printing out the boarding pass of the passenger according to the status of the passengers it is the duty of the staff to provide assistance or any help to the passengers the staff is required to weigh the baggage and if the baggage is over the free baggage allowance that is fba then the passenger is asked to pay for every extra kilos as per the norms of the airlines different airlines have different rates of the extra baggage the staff should also take care if there is any fragile item being carried in baggage so that it can be labeled boarding pass is issued and the handbag tag is provided to the passenger if he she carries any hand bag the staff also confirms the seat number along with the sector and baggage count of the passenger and informs about the flight status and boarding gate number now i will discuss about baggage makeup area that is bma the baggage makeup area that is bma is towards the terminal building where the registered luggage or the check in baggage of the passenger is organized according to the flight details and made it suitable and ready to be sent to the region of aircraft movement and parking that is ramp in certain airports which are situated in sensitive areas or conflict zones like jammu and kashmir the passengers are asked to identify their luggage before dispatching it to the ramp for security purposes the roles of the staff in the bma are as follows the staff has to arrange the trolleys for the luggage in accordance 
with the flight load the employees check the security sticker attached to the baggage and organize them according to the destination the staff also needs to check the types of baggage for aligning them accordingly like the hard case baggage soft baggage fragile baggage etc the staff then brings together all the baggage and loads it in the trolley and dispatch the baggage to aircraft for the loading of the baggage in the aircraft the bma staff also coordinates with the ramp staff and informs them about the trolley count baggage count and baggage weight now i would discuss about boarding gate or security hold area that is sha the boarding gate or the security hold area is the place from the passengers aboard the aircraft the roles of the staff in the sha are that is the staff in boarding gate has to ensure that all the passengers carrying handbags have the tags attached to their hand baggage and the handbag tags are stamped the staff has to make sure if there is any ssr passenger traveling before boarding the aircraft so that the passenger is dealt accordingly the staff has also to inform the airport authority of india that is aai about the details of the particular flight the staff in sha collects all the boarding passes of the passengers the staff here is required to assist the passengers who are senior citizens mothers traveling with infants first time travelers and unaccompanied minors the staff informs about the missing passengers to the ramp and reports total on board that is top passengers to ramp finally the doors are closed by the staff within the restricted time now i would discuss about region of aircraft movement and parking that is ramp the ramp is one of the most delicate areas in the airport where one has to work very carefully the ramp personnel should be prompt in alerting and reporting about any unwanted incident that takes place in the ramp the employees allotted with the duties on the ramp have the duties of gathering information about the estimated time of arrival that is eta of the aircraft the load which is arriving in the aircraft number of baggage the weight of the baggage transfer baggage and passenger details the employees are then required to give the report of all the details of the baggage well before for making the ground support equipment that is gsc ready once the baggage is ready to be departed in the aircraft the step ladder is brought to the place and aligned for the passengers arrived to evacuate the concerned airline staff then checks the cabins or the arrived aircraft to ensure that there is no controversial materials and that the cabin is simultaneously cleaned for the next set of passengers the other staff unload the baggage and cargo from the aircraft to be sent to the conveyor belt and the baggage of the ongoing passengers are loaded to the aircraft refueling of the aircraft is done and embarkation is initiated the passengers list is tallied with the boarding gates employees and the aircraft is made ready to take off the detailed list of the functions of ramp personnel are the staff needs to take all the details of eta bay number the arriving load which is to be unloaded from the aircraft 
weight of the baggage and count to be loaded to the aircraft transfer baggage and ssr passengers details the staff has to report the ramp for checking the gsc the ramp staff has to announce the touchdown of the aircraft and pass the chocks on by coordinating with all the other departments the staff then aligns the ladder vacates the aircraft and checks the aircraft and ensures anti sabotage check and cabin is cleaned the staff has to load the catering ensure the refueling of the aircraft load outgoing baggage and start boarding of the flight at the end the exact load and number of passengers are tallied the load signed by the captain and the aircraft is released there are various ramp safety rules such as awareness of the surroundings always equipped with personal protective gear smoking is prohibited no entry for any unserviceable vehicles clearing the ramp of any foreign objects personal with airside driving license that is adl are only allowed in the ramp within 15 meters of moving aircraft no vehicle is permitted the equipment required in the ramp should be made ready before the arrival of aircraft behind the restraint line and the parking brakes should be on now i would discuss about the arrival the arrival staff has to check the following actions before the arrival of the aircraft reviewing of all the inbound messages is done in order to ensure the safe landing of the aircraft the estimated time of arrival that is eta is checked and it is displayed on the flight information display system that is fids so that the other staffs become ready for the same the aircraft parking bay and aircraft registration is properly checked the staff also has to check for any special handling message like vip very important person cip that is commercial important person wchr that is wheelchair till ramp um that is unaccompanied minor the staff is also required to ensure that the wheelchair and other loaders are present for arrival of the passengers in need of it arrangements are to be done for the ramp to ramp transfer in case of minimum connection time that is mct the staff has to do the collection of the traffic documents from the in flight manager the staff does the displaying of indicators at the conveyor belt for the convenience of the passengers the staff also keeps a check on the early delivery of the priority baggage the staff needs to prepare property irregularity report or damage property report that is pir or dpr the pir or dpr is the database of any mismanagement of the guest baggage at the arrival the pir form is to be filled carefully with the passenger's signature at the end of the form so that proper follow up can be done cargo the cargo handling process at the airport starts with the airlines handling agent warehouse where all the luggage or cargo is received the airlines generally hire the employees from an outside company for 
handling the cargo here but in case of the major hub the handling agent is an in-house employee some airlines even offer services of handling agents to other airlines the role of the handling agent is to take the cargo from the aircraft to the required place and take the registered cargo to the aircraft the handling agent has a slot time or also known as non time before departure that is tbd within which the agent has to deliver the goods the tbd would be decided depending upon the kind of goods where the goods has to be reached and urgency now i would summarize the whole module the cargo handling in the airline industry is a huge network which is spread over almost all the departments of the airport it needs proper coordination and management among all the departments in order to perform the duties effectively and in an organized manner cargo management team is mix of all the departments in the airport from the time the cargo is brought in the airport to the time it reaches its destination this procedure is a long process which is very well explained in this module all the roles of the staff in every department are listed in detail and it gives a clear understanding of all the terms and procedures involved in the airport thank you and have a great future ahead